muziki nitakaoanzisha sina salama habari asante mimi naitwa Linda Katembo Uh, nimezaliwa Tanzania Dar es Salaam mkazi wa kurasini uh, nimekuja Sweden mwaka 2011 Mimi ni mfanyabiashara ingawa nafanya kazi hapa Sweden nafanya kazi hospitali uh, solitary acuities na watoto watatu Ya yeah, mtoto wangu wa kwanza ana miaka 17 anaitwa Chanel. Mtoto wa pili anaitwa Stacy na mtoto wa tatu anaitwa Samir. Wote wako hapa hapa wanasoma. Asante sana. Baba wangu alifariki mwaka jana uh, mwezi wa sita, tarehe nane. Uh, baba wangu alikuwa marine engineer, alikuwa anafanya kazi bandari. Dar es Salaam bandari akapata transfer kwa Kigoma. Basi hivyo uh, wakati kwa Kigoma alikuwa on the way akiwa anaelekea sikumbuki kijiji gani Kigoma na dereva wake pressure ika shoot ghafla wakasimama kwenye hospitali huko kwenye vijiji hivyo. Uh, Sitaki kuamini ni madokta walishindwa kufanya kazi yao kwa sababu ni kijijini ila naamini ni siku yake Mwenyezi Mungu aliipanga na siku yake ilikuwa imefika. Kwa hiyo ni hivyo. Ya yeah, babangu mpaka anafariki actually alikuwa na miaka sitini na moja alistaff akiwa na miaka sitini then bandari wakamongeza contract ya two years so alifariki alikuwa na 61 Ah mama tunashukuru alhamdulillah yuko vizuri yeah, yuko mtoni kijichi anaendelea vizuri Asante ah, Uh, actually mimi ni mtundu sana. Yaani mtundu wa kwamba napenda maendeleo, napenda mafanikio, mimi ni mwanamke mjasiria mali. Siku zote napenda kuwa one step forward. Yaani lazima niangalie mbele kuna nini, najaribu wiki na, na nisha katika majaribio kuna failures. Nisha fail mara nyingi. Na huwa si give up. Nikifeli huwa najaribu tena ku stand up na kujifikiria wapi nilifanya makosa, wapi nirekebishe makosa yangu. Uh, nilivyokuja Sweden okay okay nimesoma nimepata kazi hospitali but still huo mshahara niliona kama vile unitoshi kwa sababu mimi napenda biashara Sijawahi kukata tamaa katika maisha yangu kwenye mafanikio never So actually mimi nishafanya parties just like parties nafanya parties mimi niko kwenye mambo ya entertainment nafanya parties na alika watu free entries wanakuja kwenye party lakini mimi nauza vinywaji. But then there were time nikajifikiria I need some changes. Changes na do what? Nikajifikiria okay, let me nijaribu kuleta msanii tuone ita nilipaje. Then nikajaribu ku contact na Salam, nikawasiliana na management ya Diamond Platinum. Of course watu wengi walinishangaa like what first time unaanzaje na msanii mkubwa hivyo kwa nusu anze na msanii kidogo ambaye wa kiwango cha chini lakini i said no problem i will try my best yani siku zote unapotaka kuanza usifikirie unatakiwa anze chini juu katikati just shoot it as long as your heart tells you go for it commonly go for it nikampata diamond platinum akaja sweden tukafanya show sweden of course ile show ikuwa successful kwa sababu nilifanya siku ya Jumatano Sweden kulikuwa na siku kuu Jumatano but Thursday kulikuwa na kazi. Kwa hiyo hiyo uh, ni one of the Friday thing ambayo niliongea kwamba kuna mistakes ambazo mtu anaweza kufanya I was supposed to do it on Saturday lakini Diamond Saturday alikuwa na piga Denmark or German I think. Kwa hiyo nilikuwa kwa weekend nimemkosa ila nilikuwa namtakiwa kumpata hiyo Jumatano. So I had no choice ilibidi ni go for it nijaribu nikafikiria wacha ni arrange party ambayo kama yani nikarudi nyuma kwenye story yangu ya zamani hivyo kwa vitu vilikuwa navifanya zamani nikaamua kuvirudia kwa hiyo nikaamua kuanza ku arrange tena parties ambazo vingine vitakuwa bule 
mimi nitauza kutokana na vinywaji na chakula. Kwa hiyo ni karenge tena party mwezi wa sita mwaka huu. Tale saba I think. And it went successful. It was successful. Yani I was so happy wa Tanzania aliniitika. I don't say kwa sababu ilikuwa free entry. I don't know if it was that or just because ilikuwa summer time watu wanapa kwenda na vitu kama hivyo. But na washukuru wa Tanzania wote waliniitika. Uh, the show was successful akokuwa na msanii yoyote it was just a disco minimauza vinywaji na chakula and it went very well najitegemea mimi kama mimi sina management sina mtu ambaye ananisaidia kufikiria mimi ni kila kitu najifikiria nafikiria mwenyewe na plan mwenyewe nafanya mwenyewe but right now i was thinking maybe it's about time nifungue kampuni ili niweze kukuza jina langu niweze kujulikana na watu wajue who is linda miamo mimi na biashara nyingine ukiachana na mambo ya entertainment mimi na uza vitu. Ya yeah, nauza vitu online, nauza vitu kwa gari, <laughs> natembeza. Sio Sweden actually nikiwa bongo, Sweden nauza online. Mimi nauza nywele like um, Brazilian hair, naenda China, naenda Dubai, naleta biashara za nguo, viatu, nywele. Kwa hiyo kuna watu ambao washanijua na press orders wakiniona nimesafiri niko China, niko Dubai na press orders through my phone wengine wana press orders kwa kupitia website yangu wengine wana press orders kwa kupitia my instagram so siko kwenye entertainment bado sijaridhika siko kwenye entertainment peke yake and i was thinking maybe naweza nikafungua duka hapa la nywele au uh, chochote but still bado sija plan but i'm thinking uh, mimi ukitaka huduma zangu kwa mfano umetaka nywele umetaka viatu tunazungumzia kwenye biashara hiyo kwanza nywele viatu una msanii unafikiria kwamba tunaweza tukapanga mimi na wewe tunaweza tukamleta tukaweza tukamshukaliamsha dude <laughs> tunaweza tukakaa tukaongea yes ukanicheck mimi kwa namba yangu ya simu 0735065718 au can check kwa Instagram yangu Linda Miamo au can check kwa Facebook yangu Linda Miamo hapo naweza ukaangalia nimepost baadhi ya vitu ambavyo mimi naviuza kama page zangu za biashara mapochi sidilia viatu ambazo nikienda China na huwa naenda China every three month kwa sababu sina duka kwa hiyo siwezi kusema naenda mala kwa mala na kazi pia hapa so hivyo hizo ndo njia pekee ambazo naweza ukanipata Wezi amini nishawahi kuwa muigizaji before kwenye sijawahi kuigiza movie ila nishawahi kuingia kwenye kampuni ya Bongo Movie ilikuwa inaitwaje ile by that time Kaole yes nilishaingia Kaole group nikajaribu kufanya pale movie but actually malem babangu alivosikia naingia <laughs> kwenye movie by that time nazungumzia wazazi walikuwa wanaona movie kama vile uuni watoto wataribikiwa babangu kanembea what are you doing nenda shule soma uwe na kitu fulani kwa hiyo alinitoa kwenye kaole akanirudisha kwenye mambo ya shule kwa hiyo sikuweza kufanikiwa kujiendeleza kipaji changu so i must entertainment walivoni tulivyo wasilia na walivoni contacts nikasema yes i can do it kwa sababu nilikuwa napenda kuwa actress since niko mdogo ingawa babangu alinizuia so nikasema why not trying sasa hivi wakati niko mkubwa because by that time nilikuwa maybe 18 so i was like okay let me try kwa hiyo niliingia mimi na mtoto wangu uh, actually hakukuwa na changamoto sana but Location zote nilizokuwa napata I thank God zilikuwa karibu na mimi na Zimudu nilikuwa naweza kuzimudu hakuna kitu ambacho Imos Entertainment kilinipa ugumu kusema ukweli kila kitu kilinilaisishia si part low play mimi na si part ambayo ali play mtoto wangu kwa kweli it was successful kwa sababu kwanza si, mimi personally si kuamini tutapata wageni wengi namna ile wa nchi tofauti makabila tofauti yani tumekutana watu wameenjoy watu wamefurahi watu wameipenda movie chakula kilikuwa kizuri sana yani sijakutana na mtu ambaye ame complain anasema uh, Imos Entertainment walichokifanya hakikuwa sicho watu walipenda kuanzia location ya ukumbi walipenda kila kitu kilichofanyika siku ile watu walikipenda na mimi mwenyewe na, na familia yangu tulifurahi sana kwa hiyo
kweli nijisikia furaha sana kwa sababu that was my first time na Poké Awards that, that was my dream kwa actress baba yangu alizuia dream but siku ile nikaona yes this is my dream and hata kama nimeshakuwa mtu mzima kidogo i can continue my dream na i can i can do it nimeona nilipopata award nimeona i can do it mashabiki wangu nataka kuambia na wapenda na naomba tushirikiane na pole sio mimi tu tukisikia mtanzania mwenzetu mkenya mganda analeta wasanii tujaribu sisi East Africa kushirikiana e, kwenye kila jambo pili aswa aso nataka kuasitizia wanawake wanawake wengi sana wamelala Tanzania nafurahi sana sasa hivi wanawake wameamka sana watu mpaka wanatembeza biashara kwenye magari hata mimi kwa mera nikiwa Tanzania natembeza biashara kwenye gari yangu so nataka wanawake wa Sweden pia waamke mwenye kipaji cha kupika sio net kibongobongo atitwa mama ntilie no 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 this is europe hakuna mama ntilie pika kama una kipaji cha kupika uza chakula chako unajihisi una kipaji cha kuact kuact mpigie simu i must entertainment kwa sababu nafikiri ndo i must entertainment ndo entertainment pekee ambayo ina na mambo ya film hapa Sweden. Mpige simu, waongea nao, nenda ka act, jitoe wanawake mimi nataka wanawake hasa wajitoe.